Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm here. Kojo, big up yourself. Yeah, yes, man. Come reach Speaker's Corner for the G Circle, even though you missed it. Yeah. But yeah, big up, big up, big up here, man. Um, yeah, uh, the question. Um, so yeah, earlier we got a video of you like talking with um, um, that Jewish guy. What was that about? Is he like drew a little piece of a crowd? What was the question? What did he ask that got you like, talking to him still? So uh, my name is King David, by the way. You know, part of BPG Black People Giving, the Waiwa movement, Waiwa family. You know, I love their civilization. Um, so the gentleman came over and he asked the question um, roughly around. So why don't we speak to or why don't young black youth actually? change the way they dress um, in terms of maybe not wearing a tracksuit and potentially wearing a suit instead um, so that they can get jobs or you know be more accepted by society yeah basically, basically conform is what you we're know? saying yeah so you're saying conform right um, and what my argument was to him um, and I use a very very simple analogy that you know I'm asking a question I said would you consider yourself as an intelligent man he said yes um, obviously he's wearing a suit I said, you know, let's say you were down on your luck and you were now homeless and you were kind of picking out of the yeah, bed. Yeah. Bin, sorry, would you still consider yourself as an intelligent man? He said, yes. And I said, so um, me, I perceive somebody, or I may perceive someone who's wearing a suit as intelligent and someone who's picking um, food out of a bin, maybe as stupid or something like that. Mm. Potentially, I may perceive that. So who's in the wrong there? Is it my perception or is it that individual? I would say it's definitely um, my perception yeah. of that individual because that person is true to who they are. Yeah, yeah. And so what I then went to explain to him is that the young black boy who is wearing the hoodie might be on his way home from his, you know, um, biochemistry lesson or his lecture, you know, that he's been learning about theoretics um, and thermodynamics. Um, and the fact that he's wearing a hoodie doesn't take away, doesn't from, take away from that. He's intelligent and he's a king. Yes. So now, my friend, my Jewish friends, you know, um, a question to you. So who do you think is in the wrong? You know, is it your perception of that young black man or is that young black man himself? Um, and I'll be honest, he agreed that, yeah, it is the perception. Did, did he not rebuttal at all? Did he not he come back? He did try to come back. What, what did he come back with? He came back with... Um, you're saying, but still we live in a society, you know, um, very much a white dominated society. Um, so wouldn't you want to conform or be like, or it's assimilate it's to be? Yeah, come on, Gamaz is leaving, you know? Gamaz is leaving still. Now you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah. Oh, Shakara as well, but yeah, no, carry on, carry on, um, please. We're having him in the back. Yeah, go nah, on. That's fine. So, yeah, why would you, um, said, why wouldn't you want to assimilate to be like what is the wider community to be almost socially accepted? Um, and what I said is that for me it's more important to be true to myself and yes I have an understanding that maybe perceptions may be skewed on what a black man is based on what the media has perpetuated and what other people have perpetuated so yes as a young black man we must be smart yeah. when I'm walking into that job interview I am going to wear on. that suit Come and I am going to cut my Pick hair yourself, um, you know, um, but yeah. just know that I'm a young African king and still when I'm wearing Come my on. hoodie and I'm walking and I'm bopping down the road yes. I'm still a young African intelligent king yeah. you know so you need to fix up your perception yeah. and, and, let, and let me inform get on. your no but inform yeah. your brothers okay. that their perception is wrong okay. you know and not pose that question to me pose that question to your community and your society to say why do you have that perception where did that come from and if it's not based in truth based in God or based in love then I don't want to hear it oh come on that's unless it. I'm free from it yeah that's big it. up the lovely black team oh yeah still lovely black lovely me black you know, um, power. Day, uh, yes, day. come on, come on, Every come on. Love me black. Yeah. That that? Love see that? See that? Black Old man, time. black woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's respect. Yeah. It's respect. Yeah. Love me black. Our woman's appreciated. Where, where can we get these? Where can we get them shirts? Yeah. Come on, knowledge, strength. Come on, come on. Yeah. Come That's on. Where, where, where can we get the uh, love me blacks from? And love that, man. Love me black. Right can we order? Uh, can we order? Can we order? Can we yes, yes. Go to www.blackpeoplegiving.com. You know, go to the shop site. Go to the shop tab. Um, and you can order t-shirts direct there. Okay. Um, it's one for twelve ninety nine and two for twenty five. Big up, big up, yeah, big oh, up, man. Enough respect, man. Love, love, love. Beautiful. Yeah, Life yeah. is beautiful. Yeah.